Hi, Chris Selwood here, talking to you from Victoria Square, Adelaide. World Environment Day 2020 and the day that we will announce the dates and regulations for the 16th edition of the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. And I look forward to sharing some of the ideas we have to keep you on your toes. Every two events we try and bring in some disruptive changes because we know you like to copy each other and copy that which is successful but we really want you to be thinking of your own solutions to the problems of sustainable transport. In presenting a new set of regulations for 2021 we want to incorporate those lessons that we've learned from previous events to keep pace with international standards that are changing and evolving all the time and of course to keep ahead of the status quo and give you something to think about. Fatigue management is a big issue in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge and there's a number of steps we've taken to reduce the fatigue load on drivers. Firstly, the cabin space is going to have to be bigger because you're going to have to fit in a standard mannequin. Secondly, there will be a compulsory driver's change at Adelaide River, which is something new. And thirdly, the control stop procedures ha have changed to ensure that the drivers are not stressed when they leave the control stop for their next driving stint. Rear wheel steering is a great idea. It allows low speed maneuverability, but it can contribute to instability at high speeds. We're also going to introduce a 15 meter turning circle. This gave us a little bit of a headache because the Australian design rules for motor cars say that the turning circle's got to be 33 meters. Maybe they're thinking road trains. But one of our clever scientists came up with an Australian standard for the radius for getting into a parking space, seven and a half metres, 15 metre turning circle. Now that's going to uh, give you a little bit of a uh, headache and uh, a big difference on some of those aerodynamic issues. We've had a number of calls to try and reduce the cost of participation and we know that some of the uh, well-resourced teams spend huge amounts of money on their solar array designed for use in outer space. But that also comes with a high toxicity load. What we're doing now is saying that, that solar cells must have a low environmental impact. What I'm most looking forward to is meeting all of our wonderful solar community, the people we've met and worked with over many years and the new people that will come along. And of course, the new cars that are built and how you've addressed these regulations and how you've prepared to, uh, to, to be part of this great adventure. So in conclusion, the information that you'll need is contained on the official World Solar Challenge website at worldsolarchallenge.org. And if you've got questions, please write to us, teams at worldsolarchallenge.org, and that will make sure that your question is put in front of somebody that can give you the best possible answer. So as we continue to move towards normality and the travel restrictions get lifted, we're really looking forward to seeing you in Australia in 2021.